Welcome to the homework for grade first grade, module one, lesson four. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to make flashcards. They still work. Flashcards still work. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to read the directions here for making the flashcards, and I'll show you a picture that might help. Um, I'll just get right to it here. Uh, today, we learned the different combinations that make six. For homework, cut out the flashcards below. And there's pictures of them right here. Pictures of them right here that show you what uh, the front of a flashcard is going to look like. So you're going to look at this and then try and, when you practice with the flashcards, you're going to look at this, the front of the card, right, the number bond, and then you're going to, think about what's the number sentence for that number bond and that's on the back and then you turn it over the back of the card and see if you got it right and you just just practice those so and you look at those enough times and you and you'll think about the ways to make six you just have them in your head so that uh, somebody says you know how many how much does two need to make six so it needs four more and you just remember it instead of having to count it up in your head every time it comes it happens makes things a lot easier. And that's just for ways to make six. So let me get back to the directions. Uh, so today we learned the different combinations that make six. For homework, cut out the flashcards below. Write the number of sentences you learned today on the back. Keep these flashcards in the place where you do your homework to practice ways to make six until you know them really well. As we continue to learn different ways to make 7, 8, 9, and 10 in the upcoming days, we'll continue to make new flashcards. So when you do this, just be sure that uh, you make each of the combinations that make 6. And this is you know, what the flashcards are going to look like. Now I'm going to show you a picture these are the cutouts we're going to use, and here's the picture of here's a picture of apples that we used in class, and you can see there's different ways to look at these apples. Uh, you can see two small ones and four large ones. You see, you could think of that as two and four, or four and two, uh, and then you can look at the dark red ones. That's three, and then there's the pink ones. That's three, so you've got three pink and three red. Three plus three is six. Uh, you also have uh, an apple with a worm and four with no worms. So that's one and one, two, three, four, five with no worms. So that's one and five, or five and one. So you've got one and five, five and one. You had uh, three and three. And then we had um, two and four. And you just say that they're all apples. You could also have zero and six. That's another one, too. So let's, the, all, we're going to look at this just all different ways. And you can see, I mean, there's other ways to look at three and three also, too, because you can look at the ones that have leaves. Three have leaves and three don't. Or three have these spots and three don't or three have stems these no oh, how many have stems one two three four have stems and two don't so there's lots of different ways to look at these but that's the idea there's lots of different ways to make the ways to make six so just to be go back to the beginning here let's see for homework front of the card. Let's start with one and five. And that makes six. And you, if you want to do the dots like it has in the picture here, that can help too. Because if you're still counting to to to, to do a total, so, um, then the dots can help. Right? So you've got one and one, two, Three, four, five. So you see that 
five is a big number, one is a small number. You can, you can count the dots. And then we're going to make so that's the front of the that's the front of the card, right? On the back of it, you're going to write. You might write one plus five equals six. And then on this other card, you're still going to have six for your total. But then we're going to do, instead of one and five, we're going to do five and one. One, two, three, four, five, and one there. And now we're going to write for this, it's going to be five plus one equals six. So it's just putting the add ends in a different different order, but still they still add up to six. Because you're still adding five and one. Or one and five. And the second page, so we did one and five and five and one. And now let's do two and four. Two and one, two, three, four. And that's going to add up to six. And you can put the six dots here too. Two, three, four, five, six. And on the back of this card, you might write two plus four equals six. And here we're, we're going to do the same two and four add-ins, but we're going to do instead of two plus four, we're going to do four and two. One, two, three, four. One, two, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So this one would look like four plus two equals six, and uh, oh, you're probably going to get the uh, the idea for now. We also have uh, three and three six. Now well, these are going to just look the same, aren't they? So we're going to have two of these. You probably get by with just one of these three plus threes because, right? It doesn't yeah, one, two, three. It doesn't matter which three you put first. They're both going to be threes. One, two, three, four, five, and one more six. So, uh, like when I'm trying to, I like to make my five, keep five groups together. Even when I'm just making dots like this, and be careful how you make them because. You want to make sure you can count them and that the dots look like dots and not something that you almost erased and you don't know whether to count it or not. So just be, try to be a little careful when you make the dots. And then, and that's going to be, you know, on the other side you're going to write 3 plus 3 equals 6. And this is going to have 6 here. But, you know, these are doubles. And doubles are really important. Doubles are when you, you're adding, the, the two add-ins are the same number. So like three plus three, two plus two, one plus one, five plus five. Those are doubles, and those numbers are really, really um, important to be able to remember. Three, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the back of these, you they're both going to be three plus three. Equals six, and you don't have to write uh, write that down. Write that down on the other side of the card. And then finally, the only one we haven't written down yet is zero and six. Make six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and zero. Zero. There's no dots to do for zero. One, two, three. Six. And so on the back of this one, you might write 0 plus 6 equals 6. And 6 here, 6 here, 0 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on the back of this one, you might write 6 plus zero equals six. So uh, get those finished and cut them out, practice them, and you'll be good with the number six.